good morning students welcome to my class uh, this is the chapter 2 uh, subject chemistry chapter 2 elements compound mixture part 2 look at some substance pure substance versus mixture pure substance water sodium chloride 24 carat gold uh, iron Okay, here mixture nitrogen oxygen mixture salt water mixture brush milk so pure substance means uh, it is uh, water sodium chloride these are and mixture more than one substance combined together but they are not chemically bonded together look pure substance contain only one type only one type substance only one type substance mixture contain more than two type substance Pure substance, only one type substance content. Mm, uh, pure substance versus mixture. Okay, pure substance contain only one substance, with no other substance mixed together. Has fixed melting point and boiling point. They have fixed melting point and boiling point, as they consist of only one substance. So all molecule will have same melting and boiling points. Water, for example, water has boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius and melting point of 0 degree Celsius. Mixture, mixture is a combination of two or more substances, element or two elements or two compounds or one, one element, one uh, compound, this way, uh, that are not chemically joined together. So we have understood uh, mixture is a combination of two or more substances. Uh, but they are not chemically joined together so it is uh, s uh, as uh, two or more substances joined together uh, a combination of two or more substances uh, for this reason uh, it has a range of melting and boiling point as they consist of different substance that melt boil that melt or boil at different temperature so it has a mixture is a, a range of range of boiling points and temp melting points and boiling point range of means it uh, start melting from uh, 5 degree start melting melting 10 degree or start melting 15 degree and uh, and it uh, to uh, 30 degree this way melt uh, gradually melting but the uh, pure substance melt melt at a fixed temperature like uh, uh, 100 de zero degrees Celsius all substance melt togetherly uh, here uh, also uh, at a range of temperature may uh, mixture melt or boil testing purity the physical property of boiling and melting point can be can therefore be used to test if a substance is pure or not for example if a sample uh, of water melts at exactly 0 degree boils at exactly 100 degrees Celsius then the water is pure if the melting point and boiling points of water are not uh, this exact value then the water must be impure and contain other substance so that it must be a mixture ok mixture is a look this is the mixture water and sand mixture here is a skit and other uh, snack <laughs> ok this is the mixture also uh, the uh, mixture is a two or more things that are mixed together but not chemically combined the these two substance or more than substance uh, not chemically combined they are separated uh, so what is mixture mixture is a two or more things that are mixed together but not chemically combined mixture is a two type heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture in a heterogeneous mixture uh, all particles are not uniformly distributed like uh, all substances are not uniformly distributed like we can separate it, this this mixture this is the sand and water uh, stirring after some time sand uh, down to bottom and water then uh, we can separate these particles are not uniformly distributed here this is a heterogeneous mixture So heterogeneous mixture uh, particles uh, uh, are not uniformly distributed. Like this is homogeneous mixture. 
uh, in this kind of mixture we can distinguish the components we can't distinguish the component we can't separate uh, they are uniformly distributed look this uh, orange juice milk shake coffee cold tomato chocolate all particles are uniformly distributed we can't separate distinguish these components this is also mixture but we can't distinguish the components by physical means ok separation of mixtures uh, mixture we can separate uh, since the uh, since the components of a mixture are not chemically bonded together they can uh, can be separated without carrying out any chemical reaction since the component of a mixture are not chemically bonded together in a, a mixture components are not chemically bonded together so we can separate it without carrying out any chemical reaction so we separate by physical means uh, this the this way this is one uh, physical means physical separation technique this is called uh, filtration uh, this the filtration here uh, uh, insoluble liquid and sand liquid liquid and insoluble solid separate filter paper use filter funnel uh, filtered solid is are trapped and uh, liquid down to the flux and this is called filtered this way you can separate the solid and this the uh, distillation and this is another separation technique this is called crystallization we give heat uh, we separate uh, the sol uh, soluble solid some solid are soluble this solid uh, we can uh, in this process the infiltration process we can uh, separate insoluble solid uh, in the crystallization process we can separate uh, soluble solid ok uh, crystallization this process and this is the fractional distillation we can separate uh, liquids uh, combination of liquids more than uh, two types liquid we can separate here and dyes we can separate different types of dyes uh, this is the uh, chromatography uh, chromatography we can separate uh, substance with different solubilities different solubility substance can be separated by chromato chromatography so filtration is a suspension uh, a suspension or insoluble solid and liquid mixture can be separated by this process suspension is a uh, mixture of liquid and insoluble solid like sand and water sand is insoluble solid uh, so insoluble solid and liquid mixture is called suspension so a suspension can be separated by this process filtration filtration process we take a um, filter paper here um, in a funnel take filter paper and uh, take the uh, mixture of insoluble solid like sand and water then we the suspended mixture is uh, pour into the filter funnel the filter funnel the filter 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 paper has a tiny holes the filter paper has a tiny holes which allow the liquid molecule to pass through and but solid particles get trapped on the filter paper as a residue filter paper solid paper particles get trapped on the filter paper as a residue the liquid is collected below the funnel as filtered liquid is uh, uh, pass through and is collected in a fun, uh, funnel uh, it is the below the funnel uh, in a conical flux it is also called filtered this way you can uh, precipitate from the reaction mixture can be separated by filtration ok do you know that precipitation you know maybe precipitation ok precipitation from a re reaction mixture can be separated by filtration so you remember that insoluble solid and liquid insoluble solid can be separated uh, from liquid can be separated by filtration 
now this second process is crystallization crystallization is here is a solid solid is separated but this solid is soluble solid soluble solid like uh, copper sulfate copper sulfate is soluble if we take uh, uh, potassium nitrate soluble uh, soluble salt uh, and uh, water like soluble salt we are studying the soluble salt and uh, we take this uh, st heat the soluble salt and form crystal uh, then we uh, by filtration we separate when we cool uh, the substance this uses uh, to separate the dissolved solid from a solution means means soluble solid from solution when a solid is much more soluble in hot solvent in uh, then in cold like copper sulfate from a solution of copper to sulfate solution in we can separate copper sulfate from a solution of copper to sulfate in water solution this way uh, explanation solution is heated allowing the solvent to evaporate to leave a saturated solution uh, test the uh, will heat the solution and allowing the solvent to evaporate to leave a saturated solution to form a saturated solution maximum water uh, do you know the saturated solution the solution which contain like uh, solid uh, maximum amount of uh, s solvent is present for a solute optimum amount of solvent is present for a solute Mane, if we use uh, maximum amount of uh, more uh, solid is used for uh, is for a certain solvent uh, solid will uh, fall down don't uh, dissolve maximum amount of solid is dissolved in a certain amount of solvent is called uh, saturated solution okay solution is heated uh, allowing the solvent to evaporate to leave a saturated solution test the solution uh, is saturated by dipping a clean dry a, a cold glass rod into the solution if the solution is saturated crystal will form in the glass rod okay saturated solution is allowed to cool and uh, solid will come out of the solution as the solubility increases and crystal will grow crystal are collected by filtering the solution then the crystal are washed with okay how do these things uh, we will take this uh, crystallization process uh, uh, this like this is a uh, here uh, we take the uh, solution uh, uh, such a solution of copper to sulfate copper to sulfate and copper to sulfate and water mixture we take hein? we take the solution here here we take solution mm. we take solution of these things hmm. then we heat heat these things heat allow heat ok heat uh, after we, we test uh, is the saturated solution is formed by the uh, glass rod glass rod after some uh, heating uh, we will use glass rod here dipped glass rod uh, if we see the uh, in a glass rod uh, some crystal is formed if we see the crystal is formed in the glass rod so we we'll stop uh, stop uh, heating then uh, we uh, then uh, we take the s here uh, this uh, solution will take uh, 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 in a cool places and then form uh, uh, crystal will form in the bottom some crystal will form uh, uh, and this then by filter uh, filter paper we will separate this crystal ok then the filter paper will separate this crystal using this funnel funnel will separate these things <coughs> 
okay then trapped in the uh, filter paper this uh, solid residue we can separate this way this is the crystallization process a uh, crystallization solid here is a solid is separated but this solid is soluble solid next this is the simple distillation distillation means uh, here is uh, uh, like this is uh, uh, here is a mixture of mixture of uh, in a distillation process we separated so uh, liquid uh, we separated uh, liquid this uh, distillation process we separated liquid uh, like uh, liquid uh, uh, water salt uh, salt and water so uh, this is the mixture of salt and water so we will give heat heat like uh, water uh, dissolved in a uh, uh, melt uh, evaporate at a temperature so uh, um, like 100 degree it uh, boils and uh, boils vapor form and here is a condenser condenser uh, condenser it uh, the uh, vapor turn into liquid and we separate this way so uh, the solution is heated in a round flask the solution is heated in a round flask the liquid so uh, solvent evaporate the liquid solvent evaporate uh, uh, through the condenser condenser while uh, while passing it uh, condenses while it uh, while passing it condenses and drops drops uh, of liquids are poured in a beaker the collected liquid is called distilled collected liquid is so we say use salt water solution can be separated and look this is the same uh, same uh, uh, distillation is uh, simple distillation and fractional distillation is same but it is a uh, here one liquid can be separated in the uh, simple distillation here uh, in a fractional distillation more than one liquids can be uh, separated here two or more miss miscible liquid with different boiling point can be separated two or more here one simple distillation one liquid can be separated uh, fractional distillation two or more miscible miscible liquid can be soluble uh, with different boiling point range so we will heat here uh, so ethanol and water can be separated by this process we know the boiling point of ethanol is uh, 78 degree and water boiling point is uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Now they will give temperature heat here, this round bottle, and uh, the, the th thermometer is reading recorded. When uh, we give heat at, uh, at 78 degrees Celsius, which uh, liquid will boil? Okay, ethanol and water. Give me a question, sir. Which one will boil at first? Uh, in a round bottom flask uh, contain two liquid ethanol and water at 78 degrees celsius which which liquid will boil at first <laughs> give my question sir unmute unmute and give my question answer which liquid will boil at first give my question answer hello is to are you listening me yes sir okay give my question answer which liquid will boil at first Here are two liquids, ethanol and water. I am giving a heated uh, which boil liquid will boil at first. Ethanol and uh, liquid. Uh. Okay, say so which one will boil first? 
look uh, eternal boiling point is 78 degree and water boiling point is water boiling point is eternal good eternal will boil at first Hmm. Hmm. Dekha, dekha, basta. Ya ve, ¿qué te dice? Ya no. Oh, da. Oh, dom tanker. Que. So at uh, because this the boiling point of ethanol is 78 degree and boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So when you give heated, so ethanol will boil at first, like 78 degree ethanol boil first and here vapor, water vapor come, uh, ethanol vapor come here huh? and, uh, at 78 degree. Then is a condenser here, condenser it become liquid and uh, at a drop uh, it uh, collected form uh, fall here in a conical flux okay so we separate this one 70 degree now again uh, we started temperature started temperature yes uh, uh, boiling uh, temperature is increasing 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 100 degree then water start boiling water start boiling then a uh, water vapor come here to uh, to the top and in the condenser it become condenses and become liquid water become liquid then air drop and collected water this way we can uh, separate it then uh, the, uh, this conical flux uh, throw uh, take away this way you can separate more than one liquid using fractional distillation so ethanol and water can be separated by this process the boiling point of ethanol is 70 degrees celsius and boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius the temperature of the mixture increases at is heated uh, in a 70 degree ethanol distilled over the temperature uh, remain the constant all the ethanol has distilled out of the round bottle flux then the temperature increases until 100 degrees Celsius at this temperature water is start to boil up uh, this uh, time heating should be stopped and the ethanol and water is now separated uses the fractional uh, fraction can be separated from crude oils crude oils can be separated by this process by fractional distillation and nitrogen and oxygen can be separated from liquid air and ethanol can be separated from fermented mixture ethanol can be separated from fermented mixture nitrogen and oxygen can be separated from liquid liquid air liquid air and fraction of uh, crude oil can be separated by this process we now paper chromatography a colored mixture with different solubility can be a colored colored mixture different dye with different solubility can be separated by chromatography look this is a chromatography mm, here different dyes with different solubilities can be separated uh, the solubility we take this solubility like this is a uh, we take at a uh, filter paper uh, we ta cut filter paper okay uh, take filter paper uh, uh, size uh, size filter paper and with uh, by the pencil we will give a baseline with pencil uh, uh, line we take a line baseline this is called baseline uh, baseline okay uh, baseline this is called baseline uh, this is the filter paper filter paper then uh, using the pencil you uh, uh, line take a line and then I will put a solve uh, 10 minutes remaining you join to the this you will join to the same link if class finish huh? uh, this meeting finish you will join to this using same link okay then we will take uh, some dice different like dice take die 1 here uh, die 2 die 3 I put hey. this uh, d1 d2 huh. die 3 die 3 ok and here I put uh, some die uh, uh, some 
die spot die spot like th this is red color blue color <laughs> yellow color okay so i take this die uh, blue uh, here this it uh, red okay r red b blue yellow color red okay they have this die have different solubilities okay i'll take a i'll take a beaker 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 uh, beaker huh? beaker and beaker in a beaker uh, then <laughs> uh, then I'll take uh, this uh, pepper these things uh, in a beaker I'll take this uh, here okay uh, okay this way then here I'll add I'll add a uh, solvent I'll add solvent okay I'll add solvent uh, add solvent like I solvent use uh, ethanol solvent ethanol solvent I'll use uh, ethanol solvent I'll take here uh. so I will add solvent here this way uh, solvent will be not uh, baseline this is the baseline uh, below the baseline I take the solvent below the uh, baseline not uh, to the uh, base uh, equal to the baseline we will take the below to the baseline solvent okay <coughs> below the uh, baseline then after some times sometimes this color will separate it this way color will separate it this way some color will move faster solvent will so this the solvent move like solvent uh, move uh, towards uh, solvent move faster then uh, green blue color like uh, travel these things the the dye which have uh, solubility more will travel most uh, more okay this uh, red color uh, dye uh, violet color dye moves okay green moves the here we see the yellow color uh, dyes move uh, uh, highest moved okay are uh, solvent move maximum solvent is the solvent move and dyes move uh, so we procedure uh, we draw a pencil line near the end of the chromatography paper a pencil line at first we draw a pencil line near the end of chromatography paper not end the end near the near near the end then hang the paper inside a glass tank containing a solvent we will hang the glass tank it's i use because here is the glass tank containing a solvent like okay. the paper will absorb the solvent and will ri rise up along the colors with colors the solvent will rise up uh, those the higher sol solubility will spread further than others that the color will be separated the solubility basically he will be uh, moved further will separated further than others so my here this color separated these things like after some times uh, solvent solvent move these things solvent move these things and d1 d1 uh, move here d1 di1 moves and die to move here and die three moves here so which uh, die have more solubility d3 huh cable said d2 d2 na d3 hello which have d3 d3 solubility is more so and did the solvent move uh, just die die d3 move more solubility so move uh, travel further more further okay so d d2 d3 okay this is the uh, travel distance distance from baseline from baseline to solvent this is i draw this uh, uh, this one will be i give this uh, distance 
between baseline and solvent y and distance between solute like solute and this one i give x any solute i'll give x so distance the ratio the ratio this x and y so what i mean by x x is x is mm, distance moved by the colored or solute Uh, distance traveled by pigment or solute or color or dye the I give the dye divided by distance that Uh, distance traveled by solvent this ratio is called so I give the I write distance traveled by the dye or color or solute or solute or solute uh, or color okay this is the color or solid this the okay this is the ratio distance traveled by the dye or solid or color uh, divided by distance traveled by the solvent is called rf 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 means uh, retardation factor is rf means retardation factor it is called r come from retardation factor retard retardation factor okay retardation factor rf so retardation factor what is the retardation factor is the ratio of distance traveled by the solute divided uh, distance traveled by the solvent is called retardation factor Okay, uh, retardation factor. The value is defined as the ratio of the distance moved by the solvent, the dye or the pigment under test, and the distance moved by the solvent. The RF value is that defined as the ratio of the distance moved by the solute and the distance moved by the solvent. Okay, activity one. Calculate the RF value for the following dyes. Okay, this is the this is the dyes uh, C1, C2, C3, C4. Okay, uh, solvent move travel this. Okay, we calculate the RF values. Uh, these things after this color when moved, uh, this color moved uh, at the beginning of the filter paper is not when we use color and color move solvent move this is state this is state of the filter uh, paper is called chromatogram this is called chromatogram look this chromatogram so we will uh, calculate the rf value c1 c2 and D d1 and d2 and uh, two particular uh, um, d1 okay uh, rf value for d1 so how can i this do uh, calculate rf value i should take this one uh, uh, this one uh, copy calculate rf value of uh, color colored color uh, d d3 and d4 we calculate RF value for color D2 and D3 and D4. I will calculate. Okay. Um, RF value. What is RF value? RF value. RF value. RF value. RF value. Value 
for 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 d1 d1 okay so for d1 we will collect rf value for d1 okay so we know rf value equal to distance traveled by the solvent and solute so solvent what is the solvent distance traveled like i take a uh, scale measure these things uh, scale using the scale i will measure the uh, from baseline to baseline to this distance i will measure by using uh, scale how can i use scale okay this distance uh, which is the scale uh, is it a scale no. okay i take this one uh, scale so like this distance Okay, like this distance is look this color I different color I should use here. Uh, I didn't share skin, you didn't talk anything. Okay, uh, this is the distance uh, I'll calculate the RF value from this from the this uh, uh, chromatogram. Okay, are you watching my screen? Okay. So now, what will be distance? What will be distance here for this for this one? Distance like uh, for D one, for D one distance. This is the D one. So I is I use scale. Using scale, uh, here distance is okay. As at first, I'll take the distance uh, between baseline and solvent. Solvent, hey. Eh? This is the distance between solvent and baseline and solvent. Like this is the distance is like six centimeter. Using scale, you will find the six centimeter. Okay, okay. The distance between six centimeter solvent. Uh, six centimeter. And uh, so, what? How can I write this? this? distance distance moved by the solvent distance distance moved by the solvent it is y eh? it is y uh, 6 cm okay and for rf d1 and now this is the distance by the die d1 table like uh, 5 6 uh, 4.3.5 i did 3.5 centimeter okay this d1 you will use by scale you measure this scale okay now distance moved by the die d1 oh, distance distance moved by die die d1 d1 a x equal to like 3.4 centimeter okay uh, 3.4 centimeter okay so now we put this value we know retardation factor is x divided by distance travel by the die divided by distance travel by the solvent so what is the solvent solute dye is 3.4 is the 3.4 centimeter and solvent 6 centimeter okay divide these things 3.4 divided by 6 0 0.5 0 0.57 what will be unit? What will be unit? 
no there will be no unit because this centimeter and centimeter cut there will be no unit retardation factor has this is the ratio ratio there is no unit any ratio there is no unit okay here centimeter centimeter cut nothing remaining okay so there is no unit retardation factor so we find the rf value for d1 is 0.57 now we'll calculate the rf value this one uh di d3 okay d3 may be 5 centimeter move eh? this the d3 d3 eh? 5 centimeter eh? around the if 6 centimeter this 5 centimeter will be okay so i take rf value for d3 okay d3 uh -uh. Uh, I do, do this for D3, okay, this correction here, D3. So, what will be distance moved by the uh, solvent? Distance moved by the solvent is same for all dyes, 6 centimeters. Okay, 6 centimeters is same for the all. Oh. <coughs> for d3 and and distance moved by the die d3 d3 what is the d3 d3 move oh, i should use this one no uh, this one is green color and this one is should be yellow black okay distance d1 d1 what will be d1 d3 d3 uh, we find what is distance for travel by d3 5 centimeter eh? so this is the 5 centimeter now i put this below uh, at the top is x distance moved by the die distance moved by the solvent so distance moved by the die is 5 centimeter and distance moved by the solvent is 6 centimeter okay what is the uh, value 5 divided by 6 0 point 0 point 83 there is no unit okay so we have found two dice uh, retardation factor retardation factor for die d1 we find 0.57 and uh, for die d3 we find uh, 0.83 so which one have more retardation factor d1 and d3 between d1 and d3 which one have more retardation value uh, more retardation factor value d1 and d3 between d1 and d3 which one has more retardation factor the retardation factor more solubility is more d3 so so solubility is so di3 has more solubility okay so if more soluble retardation factor more solubility okay now i am going to next topics activity one done Now activity 2, uh, in order to identify the writer of an anonymous letter, anonymous letter, uh, a sample of, sample of ink, ink is a color, is different color, ink, from the letter was dissolved in a solvent and then placed on a some chromatography paper spot of the link from the pens of five possible writers g m p r and t were placed next to the sample uh, sample this is the sample this one uh, next uh, g m p r t this is the sample color uh, letter uh, g m p r t uh, r possible writers we are placed next to the sample of the chromatography paper 
the final chromatogram this is the chromatogram this is the chromatogram this paper is called chromatogram this chromatogram looked like this okay this is the sample uh, this die okay which of the five writers is using ink that matches the sample from the letter this is the sample sample letter uh, so which uh, of the writers which of the writers uh, five writers which one or which uh, which uh, matches the writer uh, ink sample uh, writers uh, colors matches the sample from the letter letter color matches which one this one this m this is p this color r only col one color t uh, four colors m three colors letter also three colors so which sample uh, mix um, matches the letters color g m p r t uh, unmute everyone should did the letter color letter color is blue uh, orange green uh, this is not matches g is not matches four colors but it is letter is three color g is not match now this one look this m m green orange blue uh, the blue uh, orange green uh, p orange orange uh, blue orange blue orange only blue r so which one matches with a, a, a letter letter color unmute everyone g m p r t M good, M M. <laughs> M. So A answer is M. देखो M match कर से M इट्टे शत्ते this one this one this one match this one like blue this one orange orange green green so M matches okay M matches have you understood okay next thing is uh, which of the writers uh, G M P R T is using a pen that contain ink made from a single die? Single die R. This is the single die contain this R. R contains single die. B is answer is R. Single die only one color contain. Okay, this sh should. Uh, Uh, B R. Okay, next is the what is the retardation value of the blue dye in suspect piece pen? Piece pen, this is the piece pen. Okay, uh, piece pen uh, blue color retardation factor. Here, what is the retardation factor for blue color of P pens? So solvent we need to find out at first solvent distance these things uh, y below hmm. these things we need so what will be this is not possible uh, measuring by pencil uh, pencil you will measure by uh, scale and pencil scale using scale like solvent move here 6.5 centimeter I like example 6.5 centimeter 
सी वी नो आर एफ इक्वल टू आर एफ इक्वल टू वाई बाय व्हाट इज दिस एक्स बाय वाई और एनी वंस मूव वाई बाय एक्स और दिस द सॉल्यूट एट द टॉप विल बी डाई कलर और सॉल्वेंट लाइक सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर मूव एंड सोल्यूट हेयर दिस सोल्यूट दिस वन मूव मे बी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इट विल बी थ्री मे बी थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके तो थ्री सेंटीमीटर व्हाट इज आर एफ वेल्यू दिस वन फॉर जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स ओके सो आर एफ वेल्यू फॉर पीस पेन वी हैव फाउंड इट इज ओके Uh, which two which two of the five writers are using pens containing same ink same ink contain uh, same ink contains uh, which two writers contain same ink so this one i can g r t this is the g uh, t g color and t color so same ink use these two writers Okay, have you seen uh, G and T? I'm hard. It's very difficult to say. D answer is G and T. Uh, now, last ones. Whose pens contain the dye that was most soluble in the solvent? Most soluble. This one we have seen. Most soluble. This dye. So, which pens contain the dye? This dye. P. A hey, class is finished to this class. Thank you for joining to this class. P answer. Have you understood these things? Okay, to this class is. I'll give the assignment here after few minutes or after a uh, half. Okay, to this class is no no. Uh, jo don't go away. Uh, I'll take some uh, recap something. Uh, activity two done. Now separating mixture filtration. Uh, recap. This is the summary to this class. Summary. In the filtration process uh, between filtration process is between solid and liquid. Solid and liquid. Like uh, solid will be insoluble. Solid will be insoluble solid. Like sand. Example salt and water. Salt. Sorted to soluble or the crystallization. This is not example is not clear. It will be a sand and sand and water will be filtration. Here I take the sand and water. This one here is wrong here. Then. And crystallization, sugar and water, and and distillation. Distillation. I take crystallization is solid and liquid. Th filtration also solid and liquid. But here solid is soluble solid. Now distillation, distillation solid or liquid or liquid liquid, both are soluble. Oil and water we can separate by distillation. Sand and water from uh, sand and water we can separate water. Fractional distillation, mixture of liquid with different boiling point, closed boiling point together. Ethanol and water, crude oil mixture. chromatography different component solution components in ink thank you for joining to this class